Okay. Hello, everyone. Today is Tuesday, December 19th. This is a meeting of the SIG Network Policy API subgroup to SIG Network. This is a CNCF sponsored meeting. So please follow their code of conduct, be nice to each other. And yeah, let's have a productive meeting right before Christmas, uh, right before the end of 2023. Um, we don't have anything on the agenda. Is there stuff that folks want to discuss in regards to NPEPs, Christmas holiday plans, any and all? Um, happy to open the floor here. I do see some new folks. Um, if you haven't been here before and would like to give a quick intro, um, this would be a great time to do it. You don't have to, but if you want to give a quick intro, uh, unmute, unmute yourself and let everyone know what you what you do, why you're here, what got you in, here in the first place. That'd be a good thing to go over. I could do like a reintro uh, for myself, uh, Damian Hansen. I'm with uh, solo.io. Uh, uh, I've joined the meeting on a few different occasions. Um, recently did a review of the uh, FQDN uh, PR. And um, yeah, I've been involved in Kubernetes and different CNCF projects since uh, the early days. And uh, what is one of the uh, original maintainers for Gateway API. So yeah, just really interested in the work that uh, the group's doing, trying to you know, get involved uh, as much as I can. So, uh, so I appreciate uh, the opportunity to, uh, to join the team and again, help out in any way that I can. Sweet, we're super excited to have you, Daniel. And, and thanks, so thanks for the reviews you've already done. Uh, super constructive, super helpful. Um, from a solo IO point of view, our, is your company kind of interested in using some of these APIs or is there already solutions you use today in place of admin network policy, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, definitely we have interest in, in um, implementations of network policy API v2. Uh, so we, uh, we've got a product that, um, that includes support for, uh, Selenium as a CNI uh, for cool. uh, for networking. Um, I've actually commented on the upstream Selenium issue to add network policy uh, v2 uh, support. Um, and depending on kind of how things unfold, there it's something maybe uh, we help uh, with the Selenium community uh, implement. Um, so cool. yeah, yeah. Thanks for the insight. Yeah, that's really important. Like. I think getting Cilium on board would be a big plus one. Uh, we had some good conversations with them at KubeCon. Um, nothing has materialized concretely yet, but there are some design, design discussions internally that could help us uh, implement ANP and then any new APIs we make. So I think their biggest um, problem with our API right now, which is probably why they haven't implemented it, is they don't implement explicit priorities for their uh, global network policy today. Um, so they would have to do some major data plane changes and they're kind of worried about doing that. So we have to help them through that problem. Yeah, so with that point, um, is that documented anywhere, um, either in the upstream issue or maybe in the meeting notes, just somewhere where I kind of go back and reference that and uh, A, to better understand it, and then B, to you know somehow maybe uh, communicate that to help drive uh, some changes. There is an issue open against Cilium that wasn't quite like an issue for implementing admin network policy or anything along those lines, but it was along the same vein of, of someone was requesting um, the ability to add an explicit deny rule to Cilium global network policy. So some of the same um, issues kind of fell out of it. That issue is linked in the agenda, but I'll pull it back up so you can see it. I think that's a good place to start. Unfortunately, a lot of it's off the books because I don't think we've ever had a Cilium maintainer here. <laughs> or like, a, I think like not that many Cilium contributors have been involved in this group. So we're trying to change that, which is why we had a lot of discussions at KubeCon. But again, they were all kind of off the books, off the cuff. So. 
Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can standardize some more of those discussions into issues or discussions on GitHub. Yeah, and I'm rel I'm relatively new to Salim. I've been contributing there for about six months now. So cool. Um, so yeah, I think in order to to make this happen in Salim, uh, we we need to get uh, some of the major players uh, on board. Um, yeah, the other area too is uh, the AWS VPC CNI. So um, I saw they cool. recently added support for Kubernetes network policy. That only took a, a few years to get that done. Yeah, um, and, and and I recall like the early days of Gateway API that one of the things that I was doing was like okay like different projects external DNF Metal LD, AWS because we knew okay beyond just um, uh, Google we need to get you know implementations to start supporting um, the the APIs and um, and so I knew some of those big players like okay let's create these issues now. And it's just funny that like three, four years later, you see the issues finally being closed out. So with that uh, long point, um, AWS VPC CNI, is there an issue you yet that's created to add the support? We don't have an issue yet for AWS. Um, I'll link you to the issues we have. I've put them all on the website so far. I'm happy to expand on those. So if if we need to make one, um, I can do it or you can make an issue on our repo for me to do it, if I remember. Um, or you can do it. It's, it's totally up to you. So let me link. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go ahead. Let me run with it. I just figured, you know, you, I'm sure, have a lot of uh, kind of tribal knowledge. So if you knew that one was created or not, then uh, it saves me from having to search around. I'll go ahead and jump on uh, the AWS uh, VPC GitHub repo, create the issue, um, or create it internally and link the two. So I, I can handle that. Um, Sweet. And that'd be so, great. Yeah. And then if you would just add it um, to the link I put in chat, uh, we have like a list of quote unquote implementations, right? With obviously entry and oven Kubernetes being the ones that are done. Um, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 I saw that list as, as well. So yeah, very, very cool. And, and Surya, thank you for providing that link to, to the issue that the issue that I'm familiar with and, and I'm tracking, um, and it would be nice to continue the, like the discussion in that issue to understand, okay, you know, what are the limitations or, you know, what, if anything is, you know, preventing um, Cilium from um, adopting the admin network policy. Yeah. Um, so that's also what I've been raising my mind. Like, I think in the second or third comment, they clearly mentioned that it's the priority field, which is actually a complex thing. So they have actually outlined it that they do want to do ANP and BNP, but the priority field is a complex way to fulfill our needs, as mentioned here, and then they have a link to their um, to our kit, right? So I think that's still valid from what Andrew said. You know, maybe you can lead the conversation from there if you're interested. And, and thank you so much, uh, Tanya. And like you said, plus one, we do need a lot of implementations. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me take a look at that issue again. It, it's been a little long. Uh, refresh my memory there. Yeah, and there's one other issue I need, I'm working on finding right now that you should take a look at. Um, I just lost it in all my notes. So once I find it, I'll link it. Um, it's more into the weeds. Cool. Well, thanks for coming. We really appreciate your help. We appreciate all the help. And like, mm -hmm. we're pretty open community. It's cool to see you kind of come over from Gateway API because like we've leaned on them heavily as a community for, you know, the roadmap forward. They've paved a lot of it, which makes our lives a lot easier um, and lets us focus on actually trying to get features delivered. So, yeah. cool. Okay. Anything else for today, folks? Are there NPEPs in dire last need or reviews? I know we're pretty close on the FQDN one. Um, I think we're just kind of waiting on Dan on a few of them. Uh, is there anything else we should be thinking about today? Hey, I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know that over the next 
handful of weeks, I'm planning to uh, start some work on authorization policy in Gateway API Gamma, um, probably focusing at like the service identity L4, L7 layer. Um, would love to just like kind of give you a heads up and include you in the review process to try to get some kind of consistency between that and like developer network policy, network policy V2 and admin network policy for cluster wide things and L3 type things so that we can get like some consistent patterns uh, with some of the stuff hopefully. So uh, yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up uh, that I don't have anything to share yet, but uh, hoping to in the new year, uh, get some of that work underway. Sweet. Yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, feel free to throw issues um, in Slack, put them on our agenda or tag us individually if you'd like. I'm happy to take awesome. a look as, as you work on it. That, that sounds great. And yeah, if you have anything on like service account selector stuff that you've done some prior research on, I would love to see any of that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how much prior research we have. It's been brought up over and over again, and it's on our roadmap for admin yep. network policy. Um, but that's kind of the, the we're, we're all at the same point. So if we could work together to get, you know, that done, that'd be really cool. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Sweet. Exciting stuff. Speaking of gateway and gamma and everything in between. <laughs> Okay. Anything else for today, folks? Empty agenda. Most just, folks are probably checked out. Sorry, go ahead. Nadia. I wanted to add that we actually, I think we are not waiting for Dan to review FQDN because he actually added LGTM labels. Oh, he did. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah, there is another conversation going that I think maybe as soon as Rahul just answers all the questions, uh, maybe we're actually free to merge that sweet okay i'll keep an eye on that thanks for the poke nadia um if we get consensus from everyone i will merge it so perfect it'd be a good way to start off the new year some more merged caps and one other thing um of note i guess for everyone here it's kind of relevant um, I brought up a discussion in last week's SIG network meeting around um, how our API gets act and approved by the core SIG network approvers. Obviously, we're an out of like out of tree a CRD CRD based API, but we still are a subgroup to SIG network, and we still are within the SIGs.k.io um, API group which means that we have to have special labels. Uh, those special approval labels can only be given by the Tim Hawkins, you know, Cal and other main SIG network folks. So just know if you're the owner of an NPEP, once you reach the implementable stage and you're designing the API, please tag um, assign Tim Hotkin or um, Cal or any other the SIG network approvers. And if you need help with that, just reach out to me. We basically want to keep them in the loop uh, as we add new features to the API. Cool. Anything else? Well, with that, if there's nothing else, um, we can close it out a little bit early and all go have a really good holiday. I hope everyone has a good next couple of weeks and gets mentally prepared to hit the ground running in the new year. Uh, thanks so much for all the hard work this year. I think it's been a really great year. Uh, I've been proud to be part of this subgroup, proud to present on at KubeCon, proud to meet everyone here. So really excited about the future. And yeah, thanks everyone. Have a really good holiday. Happy holidays, Thank everyone. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.